Hello everybody, my name is Danny Cottle. I'm going to uh, talk today about a uh, melody and bass, okay? This is a powerful uh, technique that we can use on the guitar for two reasons. One is because it's really easy, and two is because it it implies chords. Um, what that means is that it seems like we're doing a lot more than what we're really doing, okay? Now, uh, let's start with the bass first, okay? We're going to use the three fattest strings on top of the uh, strings here, the E, A, and D strings. Those are going to be our bass notes, okay? And when we see a chord in a chord diagram or whatever, all we're going to do is just play that one note, that one bass note, okay? So um, if we've got a chord progression that goes A minor, F, C, and G, we can go just the bass notes A, F, C, and G. Okay, now the minor and major are the quality of the chords. Okay, so does the sound does the chord sound happy or sad? Now that's what the the quality of the chord is. Okay, <clears throat> now this comes out through the melody. Okay, and that's the power of the melody. So we're we're going to be usually playing songs that we know and that we like, okay? So if we are playing, uh, singing a song that we know, uh, let's, for example, um, do one, uh, let's do a song by, uh, the chord progression I just gave you was of Monsters and Men. A, F, C, and G. Okay, so... So the chorus is, is A, F, C, and G. The verse is more simple because it's just A, F, and C. Walking around this old and empty house. So hold walk with you, my dear. The stairs creak as I sleep. It's keeping me awake. It's the house. doing the melody and the bass line okay so there's two lines going on there's the melody line what we're singing and there's the bass line that we're playing when you combine those two it creates a type of harmony um, but it just implies the chord okay this is uh, this is where the overtone series comes into play and 